Over the years, Kembu County has been counted amongst the regions that are famous for milk production and a home for several dairy processors. <laughs> Recently, the milk production had gone down due to the mode of feeding, for the farmers believed that nipia grass was the only better and quality feeds for their cows. Following this, the farmers started looking for better ways of feeding in aid of retaining their legacy in terms of dairy farming. So uh, according to our country or our regions, we have realized that we are feeding on just specific types of fodder and most of these fodders have low, they are low in, in starch and also low in uh, proteins. So we know milk is protein so we need to feed cows with good quality of uh, good levels of proteins in their fodder and also starch. But now the problem is we have just uh, simple uh, uh, types of feeds that they are al always fed on which is, uh, according to the farmers, it may be cheaper, but now they're not getting to the highest potential of their cows. Using a ration-based formulas uh, in feeds has, has also doubled, have ob ob we obviously doubled the, the milk production for cows. A feeding process that takes three to four weeks is what was introduced by the Performator Group to the farmers, where most of the farmers embraced the process. The process has taken uh, three weeks, then uh, they added me one week because I cannot leave that, uh, those animals uh, abruptly like that because change is like a... Uh, I want to introduce my feed which I've been feeding to them together with theirs. So when they exactly end their project, uh, the cows will, be, will be, have been used to, the, to my feeds. So we have been feeding this cow for about three to four weeks and you have seen good improvement. From the second week, the cow starts to either improve, the cow, improve highly or uh, just gradually. So by the third week or the fourth week, the cows are having a stagnant uh, production and they're actually maintaining their highest production in a longer time. So we have seen that cows under 100 days are producing more than cows after 100 days. Because after 100 days after calving, the cows have, uh, maybe they are they are feeding uh, to maintain themselves and also if they are inseminated and they are positive, the cows tend to send, uh, to send that energy in reproduction. In order for your cow to be introduced to the feeds, there are certain considerations that need to be considered, lactation period being one of them. Uh, we have been selecting the cows using different uh, methods whereby we also look at the, the, the stage of lactation, the production of the cows. Mostly we have been doing cows less than 100 days because this is the time that we have the peak productions. So we want to see that this cow maintain their peak production and even aim higher. So with these cows that we've selected, some of them have doubled their, their cost of, uh, sorry, they have doubled their milk production. It was due to their demand uh, that they selected the animal because they needed at least an animal which is uh, less than 90 days from the first day of lactation, and I provided them with two animals. This process has been of benefit to the farmers who has been using the feeds, for most of them have been yielding double produce for their cows. 21 liters from morning to evening. Lakini sasa imeongeza kilo saba ju. A very big difference, kilo saba ju. Yeah, there is so so much so much difference because if I were getting 17 kilos from that animal, and after two weeks it's giving me 31, so I I find it to be a very big advantage, and I wish I would have all the animals getting the same kind of feed. Its cost of production is pocket friendly to the farmers in such a way that everyone has a capability to feed their cows with the best but farmers can invest into uh, better qualities of feeds so that the feeds are, are uh, beneficial to them because when you feed with good quality it means that you've invested more but you look at also uh, what, pro what production you're getting so that it, it can, you can get a good margin and also get good profit. I'm a farmer, I have a few cows. Uh, I, I feed them these feeds from Performator. Uh, then um, just maintain them. 
maintain, maintain, the, maintain the rations, give them the right diets, maintain the records, just follow, what, just, just follow the, the training that we offered, yeah, and then that, that, that's it. It's, it's not so complicated. From this whole process, farmers came to realize that they don't require a lot of cows to produce more milk. Rather, they can feed the small group they have with the best field and yield more produce. <laughs> kuwa zinahitajika kwa majani na ndio wamenielekea kwa chakula ya ngombe na ndio aliposa ngombe ikaongeza maziwa would ask farmers to have a few cows a few quality cows and give them quality feeds and then they have they have hails the main quest is for the government to regulate the price of the dairy milk to ensure a productive farming system to like the government to regulate the price of the dairy milk and again make sure that the daily meal that is coming to the market is of the right quality because it is the quality is so poor and very expensive as we stand now if all the farmers can embrace the new feeds introduced to them and be ready to be offered with the best trainings the milk production can increase with a higher percentage it is quite clear that you can produce more milk with less number of kettles, depending on what you feed them, how you feed them, an innovative way that most of the farmers have embraced.